Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Sponsored by West Tech Foundation Repair. Well, things are going to turn cool once again for us overnight tonight. Mostly clear conditions expected. But then as we roll into the next couple of days, things are going to start to warm up once again. And we're going to see highs in the 70s. We are expecting a cold Thanksgiving. A cold front's going to swing through just in time for that Thanksgiving holiday. A few showers could also be possible with that as that front swings through. I'm going to step over here because we're going to look at the sunset and an early sunset for us this evening around 545. That's when that sun started to set for us this evening and it continues to be mostly clear for us across much of our area as we go into the 10 o'clock hour and beyond that. Temperatures right now continue to drop into the 40s. 41 in Sterling City, 42 here in San Angelo, 43 in Wall, 35 already in Menard and in Eden, 42 down in Junction, 38 over in Brady already. Many of our communities are going to drop into those low 30s overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. How about your Turkey Day planner for Thursday's Thanksgiving coming up? Starting the morning off at around 7 in the morning, we're going to see mostly cloudy conditions. A stray shower could still be possible with temperatures in the 40s by 10 a.m. We're going to warm into the 50s, partly cloudy conditions, but we're not going to get too warm on Turkey Day, only into those middle 50s for daytime highs. Clouds and radar right now across the lower 48. Not a lot to talk about across the lower 48. Things are very quiet across the midsection of the country and across the eastern portion as well. A few showers off the east coast, but other than that, things are pretty quiet and things are quiet here too. We still have those higher level clouds streaming in and through our counties here and going to continue for us overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. I think we see a little more cloudiness on our Tuesday as we have a partly cloudy day in store on Tuesday. What is making us so warm across our area? Why are we seeing temperatures in the 70s on Tuesday? Well, that's because winds are going to shift out of the south overnight tonight into tomorrow, and then wind speeds are going to pick up 15 to maybe 20 miles an hour throughout the day tomorrow, and that's going to bring some warm air across our area, and that's going to warm us up as we go through the day on Tuesday, and then again on Wednesday, even though we are going to have plenty of cloud cover ahead of our next system, and there it goes into early Thursday morning. So this is going to be a late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning cold front that swings through the area. That's going to bring a few showers to our area early Thursday morning. I'm not saying your whole Thanksgiving is a washout. I'm saying that a few of us are going to see a few showers across the area early on Thursday morning. Then the rest of us turn cold and breezy with temperatures in the 50s for daytime highs on Thursday. We'll be in the 60s on Friday. A little more sunshine as we roll into Saturday, topping out in the upper 60s, and then we'll do it again on Sunday. And then by the time we get to Monday, we start to warm back into the 70s with plenty of sunshine to come as we go into the following week. If you're traveling for Thanksgiving, this is what to expect on Wednesday. I don't think you're going to have too many travel impacts across the southeast United States on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, if you wait until Thanksgiving to travel, you may run into some showers and thunderstorms, especially across East Texas, into Louisiana, into Arkansas, Mississippi, all the way over to Nashville with temperatures in the 50s and some rainfall coming down throughout the day on Thursday. Now on Black Friday, this is what to expect if you're heading out the door to do some shopping across the southeast. East. Temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s, but pretty nice weather day for us on Friday. Tonight, we dropped to around 36. Mostly clear conditions. Those winds out of the south are around 5 miles an hour. Winds pick up tomorrow out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Temperatures topping out near 73 under partly cloudy conditions as we go through the next five days. This is what to expect. A couple of warm days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Cold front swings through, drops us from the 70s to the 50s for daytime highs. A few showers possible. Really going to be late night Wednesday into early morning on Thursday. Your Thursday looks pretty Pretty dry for Thanksgiving. And then as we go into the weekend, we're going to see those temperatures remain in the 60s. We'll get close to 70 as we go into next week. Stay with us. We've got more KCN news coming up right after this.